hey my lovelies welcome back yes hope you're all well this is Popessa. so today we'll be making this delicious looking isewu recipe isewu is made with goat's head and it's a dish from the eastern part of nigeria even though now it's been enjoyed all over nigeria so yeah this is me preparing mine and then i'll just be showing you how i, I basically do it at home yeah so enjoy the video but before we go on for that let's see my intro and so you will need goat's head for this recipe yes this has been chopped and properly washed you also need goat brain yeah this goat brain is very important so make sure you don't throw it away okay i'll show you later in the video Uba, also known as Obaka. some stock cubes crayfish as well tazi leaves and palm oil and here i have the fresh otazi leaves this i'm going to be using for garnishing and i've also got onions and salt and then this one is called calabash nutmeg yes you can find it like this sometimes in the shop in its whole form so when you buy this one all you need to do is to burn it a bit and then crack it open to get the flesh out yes and then you blend it to this other powdery form that is it so but for in this video i am just going to use only the powdered one and you need some scotch bonnets and then potash also known as account but if you can't find this feel free to use bicarbonate soda i'm just going to add some water to it and then i will allow it to sit and then dissolve while i go ahead with the rest of the preparation so just adding the goat head to the pot add the tongue guys you don't want to skip out on the tongue it is very very important yes and it's super super delicious adding my onions stock cubes salt scotch bonnet this recipe doesn't require too many ingredients okay i will just cover it and then i'll allow it to cook for about 15 minutes while i go ahead with and um, prepping the rain and i'm going to be using foil paper i know it looks eerie but trust me this dish is not complete without the brain just keep watching you will see what i will do with them this has cooked for 15 minutes well as you can see it has produced quite a lot of stock already Add some more water then I add the good brain and then I just cover it and I'll like to cook for 45 minutes so I'm mixing the potash and then sieve and when you're saving your potash look at that you don't want to have that in your pot so make sure you get rid of it okay So this is after 45 minutes the goat head is properly cooked now yeah and it's soft to my liking as you can see i've got some liquid of um, stock from it because i don't like it too dry yeah so i always leave a little bit of stock this is the good brain now i'll show you what it looks like after cooking yeah 
so i'm going to mash this off camera okay to just form a paste basically just adding some oil and then i'm giving it a good stir and then i'll be pouring um the potash little by little while i just keep um, stirring I'll keep doing this until I get the right um, consistency that I want. So this is the consistency that I want. And that is the good brain. Yeah, you can't even tell just looks like a goosey paste <laughs> trust me it says so so good but and also acts as a thickener for the sauce yeah so this is the grand ehuru so now the calabash nutmeg and then crayfish scotch bonnet and some onions yeah i like to add onions in my i know a lot of people don't but i do this process because it gives it a lovely lovely flavor guys please follow this process and then i'm just going to add um a stock cube one one stock cube and the wotazi this wotazi leaf is also fresh just pardon me that i said the other one is fresh this is also fresh just that i've had it in the fridge for a while and then i'm adding the oba i'll give it a good mix in goes the goat's head but try and be tasting um the sauce as you go because you don't want to add um too much um salt after all too little salt so it just has to be right okay so I'm adding some salt now because I tasted off camera and found out that it wasn't enough. So yeah, continue adding the goat's head. And then I give it a good mix until everything is properly combined. Yes, I'm adding some of the Ozeza leaves, some scotch bonnets, then I'll give it a good mix. Then I'll cover and I'll allow it to cook for like 8 minutes. Yeah, it's ready to be served, guys. Look at how delicious looking this dish is. If you ever get to try this recipe, please remember to leave a comment for me. And also, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram and then tag me. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. To my returning subscribers and new subscribers, thank you so much. And then, as always, I will see you in my next one. Popesa signing out. Thank you.